We're going to talk a little bit about ST arc, so short transfer arc, which is built into the Pro Pulse 220. And what it is, is the voltage is being read live while welding, and it's being sent, information is being sent back to the machine to maintain the same arc length. Okay? So, what I really did is I actually made a couple welds on these T's. Uh, which we'll show up close and there's also some arc footage that'll happen a lot of machines They don't have this built in so what happens is as you get longer arcs you get farther from the puddle it starts to uh, Sputter and it goes dit, 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 and you get this really horrible sound nasty looking welds I was probably well beyond an inch away from this uh, joint and it maintained the perfect uh, arc length with and everything. So again, uh, through the ground, it's sending this information back to the machine. It's monitoring and instantly making the corrections needed, uh, whether you're too close, too far, or even what we would say is perfect. It's going to maintain uh, your voltage and wire feed speed. This is a fillet weld that we did uh, using the proper stick out. Uh, so we were probably about three eighths away and you can see it's, you know, the width of it, the toes are straight, uh, the, uh, a little bit convex and literally did the, almost the same uh, weld except for here. Um, I started out properly and then I got a good, probably inch or so away from the base metal and then I came back in, I, I got farther away, came back in. But what you'll notice between the two is that your weld bead width is really maintained. Um, the buildup is almost identical, especially even back here, it's a little bit higher, but for being this far off the base metal, it didn't sputter out or um, anything like that. I didn't have any porosity um, as well, which is pretty amazing. The other example was this really tight, inside corner, or I guess we'll, we'll say really a T. Uh, so the gun was restricted. I could only get the gun in so far. So we had a good, you know, three quarters of an inch, close to an inch uh, contact tip to work distance, yet we were still able to maintain almost the identical weld. Here we have the restricted access, but still the same width as our bead that was made correctly. I guess with this machine there is no uh, incorrect contact tip to work distance because it is maintaining it at all times. So I'm going to start really close here and just go straight across.
just to kind of wrap up this uh, piece here that we did with the ST arc, it's maintaining the same distance throughout. So we would be really close here at the start and try to maintain that distance. So we'd go from, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch and it would continue to grow maybe almost to a full inch away. It would get short again and then repeat again here on this side. Uh, but you can really see that the, even with the change in arc length, that your weld bead maintains the width throughout. Um, I didn't have any increased spatter anywhere. Um, it, it, it maintained that. Uh, you know, really, we were get, getting penetration on all of it. We're talking some really thin sheet metal here, and it does actually show that we were providing some penetration. Uh, but overall, that ST arc really proves itself here with this example as we are, you know, maintaining everything throughout, no matter what the distance is um, with the arc. The ST arc function is available on the MTS 210 the Pro Pulse 220 MTS and the Pro Pulse 300 machines.